Good morning. I want to share uh, something out of uh, Psalm 139 that I think is very important uh, with regards to the question that I heard on uh, Fox News by Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson was asking uh, why it is uh, that we have these mass shootings. Why we? Why does we have all this violence uh, going on? And nobody wanted to give an answer. But the Bible has the answer. See, in Psalm 139, uh, in verse 13, but in other places in that psalm as well, we are reminded that God is the one who formed us in the womb, and God is the one, in verse 16, who has a plan written down for our lives before we were even created. He has a plan for our lives. We're also reminded, again, in, in Genesis chapter 1, that we are made in the image of God. Now, what that means is that every human being, whether it's our friend, our relative, our enemy, our loved one, every human being, you and me, we have innate value, we have innate worth, we have a plan for our lives. And our value doesn't come from the government. It doesn't come with how much money we have. It doesn't come by our race or our culture. It doesn't come even through our parents. It comes from the Almighty. God himself has put us here. And if he's put us here, he has a plan for our lives. No matter how long we live, we are here to do his bidding and his purposes on earth as he empowers us to do it by the Holy Spirit. And as we enter into a relationship with Jesus Christ, that plan uh, becomes obvious to us and the Holy Spirit will show us where we're to be, how we're to live, and the works that God has given us so that we can bless others and bring others into the kingdom. You and I and every human being has in a work. And that work doesn't begin outside the womb. It begins even before conception. Before our, our parts are even formed. God has a plan for us. He has us in mind. Now that's very important. You know why it's important? It's important because we live in a culture that has for years and decades sought to deny this very truth. I remember at one point uh, somebody asked uh, Mrs. Clinton uh, whether uh, an unborn child had constitutional rights, and she said, no, there's a problem. Because actually, according to the Bible, every unborn child has God-given identity, value, and worth. And yes, they have every right that God gives, every right. It belongs to them. Because they're human beings made in his image. And that's true for the unborn. It's true for those who are born. It's true for those who are aged, uh, who are dealing with Alzheimer's, those who, who have various forms of mental retardation, uh, other emotional problems or, or, or diseases. You have value and worth because God says so. It doesn't matter what other people say. And therefore, it's not for you or for me uh, to determine whether we have value or not. God has already said it. God has already declared it. He showed us uh, how valuable we are when he sent his son into the world to die for you and for me so that we can enter into relationship with him as children of God and have eternal life. The Father loves you. And he loves me. And he has a purpose and a plan for each and every one of us. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you have no worth. It's a lie of the enemy. But what that also says to the issue at hand in regards to these mass shootings and, and how is it that we can be barbaric towards each other? Well, certainly the human race has had barbarism happen since sin came into the world. You only have to go to Cain and Abel to see barbarism happen. It, didn't, it did not take long. But why did that happen? Because one brother 
refused to receive the truth of the innate worth of his brother and was jealous of his brother, being very selfish, he killed him because he thought his life was more valuable than his brother's and that his brother was simply there uh, as a tool for him. See, as soon as we start viewing other people as tools to be used, and once, once they're used up, we can just move along and use somebody else. When we have a culture that views human life very cheaply, uh, a life that, that only has value that we give to it, then we're in trouble. And the reason these shootings are happening and the reason that people are not viewing one another with the respect and the dignity that we deserve from God is because as a nation, we have rejected God. We have rejected the scriptures. We have rejected how God views things and insisted on our own way. And so if we want to see things change we have to start seeing things as God sees them, not as we see them, not as our party sees them, not as our politics see them, not as our family necessarily sees them. We need to see things the way God sees them and then act in that way. That's how things will change. Otherwise, the barbarism will continue. The more we reject God, the further into the darkness we enter. And there will come a time when the human race will enter into that darkness so far they will not be able to come back. That's a chilling thought. So if these words are sinking into your heart, that's the Holy Spirit saying now is the time to turn back, to recognize the value that God places on every human life, yours, your friends, your loved ones, your enemies, the one who's disabled and the one uh, who has no health problems, the one who's in the womb and the one who's a hundred years old, the one who's black, the one who's white, the one who's brown. Every one of us has innate value. And it's God who gives it. And every one of us has a plan for his or her life. And again, it's God who gives it. It is for us to help each other to do the plan of God, not our own selfish desires. But as long as we insist on our own way, we'll continue to see the fruit of seeking our own way. And that can only be evil and death. For the wages of sin is death. If you're looking for a cause, that's the primary cause. Walking away from the Almighty and how God the Father, through the Son, by the Holy Spirit, views the human race and the world and what's going on here. We need to get back to our Bibles, folks.